This is Virtual Events Limited, Africa's top virtual event streaming company. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I Oh yeah, Eh? As the President General of this community, <coughs> to meet this opportunity, our father, our daddy, the patriot, the man who knew very well, the man that knew very well the love of God, the love of his people, the uniting factor. I make good to say that they do. We did every effort to unite us in this community, even in Lagos, even in the hospital, even when I left Lagos and Kotakot, we did every effort to make sure that this community made progress. And we are here to the glory of God, celebrating a life well spent. Yes, we are here to the glory of God, celebrating a man who had placed his foot in the mark. In the sound of time, my prayer is that God will continue to give him eternal rest. Yeah. And we that are here behind, we will emulate his nature so that we can be better Christians. So that at the end, we shall all unite. Yeah. Daddy, you're welcome, sir. 
na kukuni lady chiche ana mecheta lady cross in on me we no na lady cross inya na enweta for relief bagat ai wo sa hallelujah okay ina gagari odi in su kopu le paroki ina gan kopu la mbijiri geba ndina mota inya na kan inya na ni ama mi inya owo ko so odi geba ji chojo wi la won anya chojo wi la won ko anya chojo wi lo bodo wi ila no lo bodo so la ma ko ishi o abo tu an ko abo wi ayi na se elo na kuku ni obuna ndi okonyo obodo elo la yi eh o onu le ma yan ma no ma yes ila pain jia in de jia na yi nwere nwa pura mma dia de ni he nwa patara ni yin ka ka chine ke nyega de jia na ha chi otu akwa ni ayi na ke le chine ke onye mere ka yin ni le ka hu mu na ni hu nwa ko hu wan hu ku igbo mma ole loro la gbara ga mata yes o ole loro di wo nya ma mata ka na ma ole loro yes Kila ridete gine kamere himere de mma haleluya haleluya ro de mma haleluya iji iji re de mma haleluya ihe nyuare bozo ila ga dot ya wetara yi obina be dor vote ange ka ko le ra ko ka wo ko ko si ye fo nya dia la oba ga ekwu ange wo history maka ge o di ishi mga ano to di ni yoke ye wa ina na gbo de gina
para que gana para Welcome to uh, Thank you for all um, you have been. Obidi on your top. And all he will be top. IJ. La Naba Tagi Lolo. Welcome. And and um, man, um, I'm 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 i I'm 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 i i
prepared for the bride are done for her husband. And I heard a great voice of God from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man and by his people and God himself shall be with them and, their, and be their God. And God shall wipe away every tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow and nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne, upon the throne said, and he said unto me, sorry, I can't see the, the sun. Praise God. Maybe I'll read from there. Okay. Praise God. Verse 5, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I have all things done. And he said unto me, Write, these are the words, these are the words of the faithful. And he said unto me, he said unto me, uh, Praise the Lord. Can I? A new screen. It's, it's red, so it's in red. Praise it. It's in red. Okay. And he said to me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give men, I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of, the, of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. For the fearful, but the fearful and unbelieving, and abominable and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yes. Thank you very much. Shall we rise as we take the hymn, It is well with our soul.
Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our daddy has gone through so much. Indeed, Satan would have buffeted. Indeed, trials, temptations, persecutions, and all manners of tribulations would have come. But in all of it, he was victorious. Amen. Indeed, it is well with his soul. Somebody say a big amen. Amen. We're proceeding with the program. We'll have an eulogy. Somebody to come tell us about the life and times of our bishop, of, I mean, of our elder. Let's make welcome an uncle in the family, Shadrach Ezagula. Please come forward. I am our uncle Shadrach Ezagula. I am our uncle Shadrach Ezagula. I am our uncle Shadrach Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I not come here to testify just about my father, my brother. Every one of you here already knows about his life. His life is already a testimony to everyone who have come in contact with him. I come here to tell you people what happened at his bed, the testimony of his bed. He was born at a time when uh, villagers are fighting, his communities are fighting each other. That was a time when there was a people called Abham people. When the people that come to fight you is more stronger than you, you go and hire Abham people to come and help you, just like mercenaries. As my mother told us, the way of the addressing when they are coming for that battle, they don't wear any glove or they tie wrapper and carry one pot that has fire in it. When they are coming, they carry sword. As they are coming and they come with, the, the, the chief fighter will be in front and then left and right, you see entourage of other fighters following. Obodo una hana ga feje ha ga agboso mbe ha nuru de egbe ha ga agboso umu anyi no umu aka ga agboso the moment these people are coming and people hear the sound of their coming everybody begin to run up and down oka ndi singo gbaroso ni hin na ndi abama umu obodo ha na agaje at the time of the birth of this hour Father, Isingu has to run away. It was a time of battle when these people were coming. Isingu has to run away. 
my mum so umu wan ye be ya na baje for one is yama ime me wea ya panyenga ibe bonjo the mother was pregnant then so as they were running on reaching Eziama, she fell into labor. She has to run into Ibebunja's house. Now Ibebunja on wokwa dike. Oba hanso. Ono no lo ya. Tu akparaji ya. Jikwebwe ki ya. Neche olo ya. Now Ibebunja then was a strong man. So while others were running, he did not run. He has his own sword waiting. As soon as he saw our mother coming, he opened the door for her to come inside the Obu, that's a parlor of Nai Bebunjoden. That is where. The daddy we are celebrating today was born. As soon as DK Ibebunjo heard the voice of the baby, he came out. So, then Ibebun just sighed, take a deep breath, and made a pronouncement that this baby that was born at a time of war will surely be a man of peace. Na bali tolu, na mwi tolu, na fokaraga. On the 9th of September last year. De de mwa, poromok, na Lagos. This my daddy invited me to Lagos. Mwa wuna wana pomok, all three days kone nyam, abalato. Whenever he wants me to come to Lagos, he gives me three days' notice. So when he arrived in Lagos, this our daddy gave him a message concerning the crusade, this crusade that is happening today. He called me, my good brother, my good brother, about three times and held his hand and shook his hand. He was holding his hand for about ten minutes. He held his hand, he was crying. And our daddy was also crying. So as the children gathered around him and started calling him daddy, daddy, he started crying the more. I'm not crying. But it's tears of joy. So when they ask him, Daddy, why are you crying? He said, well, I'm not crying. I'm only shedding tears of joy. Yes, Mbiko. Crusade. I get hold of crusade. Eba. Mina ju owebe idina. Yashi mo genti ha yane kum. Le kwe hanga eku. Le kwe opunga eku. Mbwe zukotara. So when I ask him, where is the crusade beholding? Is it here? He said, no, it is not here in Lagos. It will be here. 
that when the crusade holds, that this is the message you will tell the people. Tell them to hold on unto peace. To make peace and love for one another. Eh? And, to, and to give love, peace, and then give it. I'm standing here to pray that every one of you that came for this crusade, you will get home safely in Jesus' name. Okay. Thank you, sir. You can do more than that, please. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. Amen. Is that the much you can do? I, I believe you can do much more. Let's, let's applaud our elder. Even in death, he was still thinking about his people. What more can you give? What a man. Let's welcome the choir for the worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we rise? We want to lift up his name. The name of our Lord Jesus. He is the reason why we have gathered here this afternoon. Amen. We are not here to cry. But we are here to lift his name up. Hallelujah. Can you pronounce it? Can you believe it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Zero. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Come on. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Zero. Okay. What a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous! What a marvelous He's here to do marvelous things for us What a marvelous God What a reliable God He has done He has done marvelous things for me What my mama cannot give what my papa cannot give He's here to do marvelous things for us That's why we call him Omini
your hands and give him worship. Lift up your hands and magnify his name. Lift up your hands and declare his majesty. Proclaim him Lord and Master. He that gave us elder, give him praise and glory. Father, we worship you. We magnify your holy name. You are faithful, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have worship. In Jesus' name we have worship. Amen. All right, we're going to make welcome Reverend Steve Ahanotu as he brings us the word of life. Put your hands together for him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Aka Akaya. Aka Jehovah name ma. Ole bubeya. Kene ruari de no. Isi kendu. Kena man we have gathered together this day to celebrate and to bid farewell is a man whose life impacted so many people um, including myself I want to say that I am particularly privileged and honored to be given the opportunity to say a word or two you know today as we bid him goodbye and so, I want you to join me and bow down your heads in prayer as we go before the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for the lives and the times of our dear Eda departed. Eda Joseph Odonyemfe. Is Agula. Lord, as we gather here today, we pray, Lord, that you will plant eternal seeds in our hearts. And we ask, Lord, that you take absolute glory. And let your name alone be praised. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Permit me to pay my respect to my dear Bishop. And all the members of the Governing Council of Trem that are here present. And all the senior pastors. pastors and all the pastors. And if you look around here, you will see a retinue of pastors. I will tell you a lot about the man we have come to say goodbye to today. Okay. Praise the Lord. I also celebrate your apostles, sir. All my apostles. The Chairman of the PFN Lagos State. Chairman came all the way PFN from Lagos. Lagos State. I also want to appreciate God for the man that is keeping this place alive. The pastor that was introduced to us some time ago. 
Permit me to send my uh, greetings of peace to the entire members and communities of uh, Isingu, right? Yeah. Isingu. Ofeme community. God bless you. At least somebody will say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. And God blessed you even in our dear father departed. Uh, God, gave you to, God gave him to you as a son. And uh, he was a great gift. And I believe that his life has blessed every one of you. Like our father said, he said there is no witness because that we are here today is a witness that his life has been a blessing. He will rest in peace in Jesus' name. Follow me very quickly to the second book of Timothy, chapter 4. I will appreciate if somebody can read for me. It's, the sun is a bit uh, distant here. Timothy second Kambo. Timothy, chapter 4, reading from verse 6 to Kambo. 8. Okay, chapter 4, reading from verse 6 to 8, 2 Timothy. Second Timothy 4, reading from 6 to 8, I read. For I'm now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I've finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me alone, but unto all them also that love is appearing. Shall we quickly read also the book of First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58? I go up what the current Kembo. Kembo. You really say, Sina Moku. Iri Ise Nasato. Iri Ise Nasato, thank you. 1558. Therefore. 1558, I read. Mortal shall have, mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 58. 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. It is important we take note of that. Because when we understand that, it will motivate us. It will help us to work harder. It will help us to be more diligent. It will help us to know that there is a reward. Something is coming. After you have worked, every worker knows when you have worked for one month, at the end of the month, you will be expecting that something will come into you. That's a reward of the labor you are putting throughout the month. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. As we serve the Lord, a, a lot of people are increasing for increasingly forgetting that there is a reward. That's a reward. And Jesus said, my reward is with me. Jesus, And I will give to every man according as his work shall be. Let me speak to us a little bit today about the man who wrote the scripture we read first. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 6 to 8. Many of us know who Paul is. Paul is one of my heroes in the Bible. Paul is a man that served God, you know. But we know who Paul was. Before Paul was converted, he was also zealous. He was zealous in serving God. Even in Judaism. And so, when Christianity came up, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so when Christianity came up, the Christianity battle, Paul decided to oppose it. Paul, a Bussonandiction again, we see. Because he didn't understand it. He felt Christianity was against the Jewish religion. Oh, Christianity against the which was Judaism. Judaism. And so he did everything possible. Oh, many already possible to stamp out Christianity. Opposite Christianity. And you know the story very and well. Someday he went to the high priest. No one and to the leaders of the people. And got authority from them. To go to Damascus. He got Damascus. And if he finds anybody there. Yeah. Professing to be a Christian. He will bring them bound to Jerusalem. To be punished. To be prisoned. And you know the story very well. As he traveled with his group. He was a strong man. Our father that is fight thought about strong men. When the leader will be going, they will be shooting. He was the leader. They were going. They were Hanaga. As though the world belongs to them. But someday, as somewhere on the on the way, not too much, not too much. He met with Jesus Christ. Oh, meet here, Jesus. He had an encounter with Jesus. Oh, an encounter with Jesus. That encounter yeah. broke him. Encounter home with America, America that encounter so. changed him. That encounter blinded him. That encounter but it also opened his eyes to the true nature of whom God is. You know the story very well. I won't bother you with that. Some Bible scholars said it happened around AD 33. Some say it happened in AD 34. If that is true, let us assume it happened in AD 33. And Paul was executed in AD 64. It means that Paul had preached the gospel for about 31 years. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. From the time that Paul was converted. He didn't look back. Just like our father didn't look back. Once he got the glimpse of the gospel, he picked up the light. He took the sword. And he ran. He fought. The Bible says that Paul was in prison. No, no longer. Scholars know that 2 Timothy is one of the prison epistles. Which means that Paul wrote it from prison. At this time, this was not the first time that Paul was in prison. Paul had been in prison before and was released. At this time, there was an, an, a wicked ruler 
in, the, in the person of Emperor Nero. Emperor Nero. Emperor Nero decided to stamp out everything called Christianity. Emperor Nero is not talking about Christianity. He, he wanted to, you know, exterminate Christianity. Christianity. And so somewhere in Ephesus, Ephesus, Paul was arrested. Paul, and they tried him. Uh, why? And condemned him to death. Uh, after he refused to recant. And Paul was in prison. Paul, no, 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 no. And he was waiting execution. And while he was waiting execution, he remembered his son in the gospel. In the person of Timothy. And he began to write to Timothy. He said, very soon I will be out of here. Very soon I will be killed. This young man is going to need counsel. He will need guidance. He will need somebody to tell him what to do no, and you. how to run the church oh, of Jesus Christ, Christ, which is the ground and the pillar of truth. And he began to write to him. He wrote so many things. But at this point, no, he began to give account of his ministry. And Paul was signing out. Paul, uh, and Paul said to Timothy, Paul Timothy, the time for me to be offered has come. Listen to me. There are people who don't think that there is a time for them to exist. Some people believe that this world belongs to them. And that they will live here for as long as forever as they want. It's not true. Everybody has an expiring date. As long as you have been born, you have been born into this world, you have an expiring date. The Bible says there is a time to be born and there is also a time to die. And so if you have been born, there is another time coming. It is time to die. And between the time you were born and the time you die, you have opportunity to prepare. To prepare for eternity. Life for me on this planet Earth is nothing but preparation for death. Yes, we live to prepare for the day of our exit. How do you prepare? Brothers and sisters in Christ, as we come here today to bid our father farewell, he was 87 years old. He served God. Elder served God. He began to write to Timothy. He said, Timothy, the time for me to be sacrificed, it has come. The time for me to depart, it has come. It has come. He said, I have fought a good fight. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. Oh. That's my testimony. What God sent me to do here, I finished it. In chapter 15 and verse 19 of the book of Romans, chapter 15, he was saying, he said, from Jerusalem to Illyricum, I have fully preached the gospel. I have fully preached the gospel. I have fully preached the gospel. I was in peril on the way. In peril of robbers. In peril of false brethren. Yes. People that persecute you because you are a child of God. He said they persecuted me. But whatever happens, I finished my course. I was diligent. I was consistent. I was focused. And right now, I am dropping the baton. I am handing it over to you, Timothy. I have finished my course. What is waiting for me now is my reward. It's my reward. I'm going to go get my reward. That is where I'm going to write now. But now, what is left is for you, Timothy. It's left for you. Run also. Run also. Keep the faith. I kept the faith. I kept the faith. I did not, you know, adulterate the gospel. Mm -mm. I did not, you know, you know, you know that there is a difference between being wise and being crafty. 
I didn't handle the word of God craftily. No. I handled it with truth. I handled it with integrity. That is the word of God. Ladies and gentlemen. You said to Timothy. It is your turn. Like Ed has sent us a message. He said pursue peace. Pursue unity. And Please open your hands. Be a giver. Be somebody who blesses people. Because you'll be remembered by what you have done. All of us will be remembered by what we have done. When you are gone, because a day will come that we call you will not answer. We shake you. You will not move. We even carry you. And put you to another end. And you won't feel anything. It's gone. The man has left. What is left here is the carcass. He has gone home. When that day comes, what will you be remembered for? As a wicked man. Or as a good man. One thing you must know, we must remember is that he loved God. He loved God. He loved God. And because he loved God, without reservation, he served him with all his life, with all his strength, with everything that was within him, and everything that God gave him, he put it down at the disposal of the service of God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He has gone home. He said, I'm going going to get my reward. Man, again, you can't you. stop him. Oh. Nobody can stop him. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to take his reward. Because he loved God. And he served God. In the same way. He loved man. Created in the image and likeness of God. And he did everything possible. To do man good. Anybody that met him. Knew. That God is good. He displayed it. It was not a theory. It's it's gradually turning into a theory. Christianity is not a theory. It's a practical thing. It's not by introduction. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I am a pastor. I am a reverend. That's not how to identify a Christian. It's not by introduction. It is when I interact with you. It is when you act. I will deduce by myself whether you have known God or not. Whether you fear him or not. I will find that by myself. My own conscience will bear me witness even in the sight of God that you are a child of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because the Bible is, is, is very clear about that. Because we are going to bear witness. Our heart will bear witness in the presence of God that you are a child of God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He served men. He stood on the platform of Jesus Christ to be a blessing to men. I met him in church. in church. In Trem Church. Trem Church. As you are aware, when I joined in the year 1990, came in contact with Trem in 1989. By 1990, I've been established as a member. 1990, Praise the Lord Jesus. I met Ed that then, but we didn't have that close contact. Until he came to teach in the Bible College. When I joined the Bible College in 1996. Praise the Lord Jesus. He was my teacher. And somehow he took interest in me. Somehow he identified me. And we began to relate. We are very close. He taught me some things. He counseled me. He made me understand. That tough times don't last. But with God, all things are possible. Anything can change. He believed he was a prayer warrior. He was a prayer warrior. 
Members of Battle Axe, you know. He was a prayer warrior. A prayer warrior. Anything is possible. As long as you can pray. Edda believed that. And he taught that. And he lived that. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He ran. He could give anything. Testimonies has abounded. About the way he lived his life. He took care of people. I remember when he told me he was going for, for, for a program in his community. And he was... He was raising funds. Nana, I be a program na kom loboda. And on here is ego. And I was looking at Papa. Ndele Papa nya. I said Papa. Papa. I was supposed to come with him. Mko si so ebiya. But I I couldn't. I saw some exigencies. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But this man, he labored. When I woke up, he put everything on there. He was sacrificial. He was sacrificial. Yes, he was. A, he could give anything. Just to ease your pain. Just to make you better. Just to make sure that you are you are good. And he did everything to draw men to God. To draw men to Christ. He raised his family. He raised them in the Lord. He taught them the way of Jesus Christ. My God, yeah, that is a testimony on his own. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said to Timothy, these are the values. These are the ideals that I lived for. I am handing over the baton to you. I am handing over the baton to you. Ugochuku, the man of God. I'm handing over the baton to you. Keep on the faith. Keep the faith. Run with the baton. Until you hand it over. And make sure you hand them over successfully. And properly. Because like I said earlier. Nobody is going to live here forever. If Jesus tarries. One day. You will be called home. But before you go home. You must make sure. That the next generation coming behind you. That you have uh, no, properly prepared them. To run the race as well. Is somebody hearing me? Because you know in a relay race, the way you hand over the baton is very important to the next person that is going to run. Am I correct? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you must hand it over well. You must run well. You must hand it over well. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Elder ran. He fought. He kept the faith. He finished his course. That was his testimony. He said, he said that, that nobody's blood is in my hand. There's no man I'm, I ought to have told about Jesus that I didn't tell. Because some people think that life is all about here. And Paul was right and he said, if only in this world we have hope in Christ. We are of all men most miserable. If only in this world we have hope in Christ. We are of all men the most miserable. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you hear what I said? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's very important that we understand this. All it's not about here. here. Not all of us, we drop it. We are all pilgrims here. I we are Niji. all on pilgrimage. I and a pilgrim must return home. I, I charge you today, therefore, as the world rolls by, because the world is rolling by, because one of the things that pains me is that the Bible told us that we as Christians should not be uninformed or unaware about the times. The Bible said that we should not be uninformed or unaware about the times. But most of the times, we live and behave as though we are not aware, we are not informed about the times that we are in and what is coming. This world will not continue like this. It is passing by. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Soon the Lord Jesus will come back again. He's going to come back again. He's going to make up his jewels. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Where will you be? You attended this funeral service today. As we bid our father farewell. And we say goodbye daddy. We'll see you again on resurrection morning. 
And you look at it and you just go home. And you continue your life like that. And, and you think it is just like that. My bishop says. The presiding bishop. Bishop Michael Konko. He said you don't have a guarantee of tomorrow. There's no assurance of tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't have a guarantee of tomorrow. You, guarantee of tomorrow. you don't have assurance of tomorrow. The only one you have is now. Not, Not even next hour. hour. Not even in five hours time. Now, now is the acceptable day. Now is the day of salvation. You don't know what happens next. In the year 2021. Now for 2021. January precisely. January came. I think January 19th. January. I finished preaching. I finished preaching a Sunday service. By the time it was 7 p.m. That same Sunday, my life was getting out of my body. I was dying. And yet, I, 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 I was just imagining that if I had died, the members of the congregation would have said, ah, but he preached in the morning. We saw him. Praise the Lord Jesus Praise Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. He preached today. He ministered today. But that would have been my last. Because my heart was failing. Praise the Lord. And when the doctors came together and they examined me, they said it was congestive heart failure. Second. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what they call it. So I was as good as God, <laughs> but somehow God helped me, somehow, and I'm still here. Now I can what I'm saying is that you cannot boast of tomorrow. You boast about money, you boast about wealth, you boast about the education. All those things are vanity. They are just rubbish. Because when it is your turn and the thing arrives, you are just there. Big Daddy says, when your boss comes, you must enter. Praise the Lord. When your vehicle comes to take you home, you must enter. There is no discharge in that war. Ecclesiastes 8.8. There's no man that has power in the day of death to discharge himself. You can't release himself, yourself. No, 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 no. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And so when your time comes and you meet with the Lord face to face, what will you tell him? Did you think you just came to this world? God brought you here for a purpose. Daddy That name means a lot to me. Yes. Praise the Lord. Makanamadu wa George. Or they give any ladies in ma. Praise the Lord. Manonyo obena nwenkeya. Odi onye mfe o. Odi onye mfe. Odi onye mfe. Odi onye mfe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Odi onye mfe. Everybody. Onye obola. Or when it's your turn. And they call you. How will you answer? Have you obtained your visa? Your visa is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. If you don't have Christ, Christ, and you die, you will go to hell. There is hell, oh. Let me say this is a crusade. There is hell, oh. This is a crusade, and it was predetermined before time that I will be preaching here today. And so hear me. There is hell. There is heaven. And where you go to is your choice. And that decision, that decision, you will make it here while you are still alive. Because once your eyes have been closed, you cannot make that decision again. You have already made your decision. Amen. And I pray that when it is your turn and God calls you, you will not be ashamed. And when you stand before him, you will stand bold. Paul said, there is a reward for me. I go home to obtain a crown, a righteous crown, to be bestowed on me by a righteous judge, not a wicked judge, not one that perverse justice and judgment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you made Jesus your Lord? 
Have you met Jesus your Lord? You met Jesus on your The time is passing by. Oh, you are pursuing money. In Atuego. Thank God for money. Money is good. A good ma. But they said the Lord built the house. They labor in vain to, 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 to build it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God has not blessed the work of your hands, sorry. And every good and perfect gift comes from above. From the Father of light. In whom there is no variableness. Neither shadow of turning. If you are here today, I want to give you an opportunity. May I crave your indulgence to be upstanding, please? Say, Pastor. I've been going to church. Pastor. I go to church. I go to church. In fact, maybe I'm committed to church. They even know me in church. But I know that I have not made Jesus my Lord Jesus, I'll be going to If that is your position, I say, Pastor, pray for me. Pray with me. I want to give my heart to the Lord. I want my name to be cancelled in the book of death. To be translated to the book of life. So that it, when it is my turn, when it costs me tomorrow, when it costs me the next hour, I will have nothing to be ashamed. If that is you, just raise up your hand where you are. I want to pray for you. I'm not calling you out that is son here. God bless you. If that is you, I can see one hand. God bless you. God bless I you. I want, if, if that is you, don't be ashamed. Oh, bro, nee, nee, bae, nee, bae, Listen, Jesus, when you stand you before God, though, I will not be there. Yes. You will answer for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now you come by yourself, Abby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, they didn't, they don't bond both of us the same day. When they get back to me, it's not the day they get back to you. Every one of us, we are individuals. And we are going to stand before the Lord as individuals. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I see some hands. Please, if you are you are raising up your hand, raise it well. I want to pray for you. Today we mark a turning point in your life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. If you are raising your hand, please be upstanding. And pray, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. This is the reason why we are here. This is the reason why we are here. I see some hands. I wish somebody can take note of them. And help them afterwards. But I want you to put your hands on your chest. And pray with me. And say, Almighty God. Say it with your mouth. Almighty God. I come to you today. I know I am a sinner. And I cannot save myself. That is why I come. Today. I accept the forgiveness that Jesus offers. I give my life to him. And I receive his life into my soul. I decide today that I will serve Jesus. I denounce the devil and his works. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, based on your word, I pray, Lord, that these ones, their sins will be forgiven. I pray that their lives be saved. I pray that today, Lord, cancel their names from the book of death. Tr write it in the book of, in the Lamb's book of life. Today, Lord, I declare them qualified to begin to partake of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Satan, any attempt you will make to, to interrupt the lives of these ones again, you will be met by the Spirit of God. We declare it so in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we speak peace over Isingu. We speak peace over Ofeme in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare in these communities there will be peace. Our Father sends a message of peace. Mm -hmm. We declare peace. Amen. We declare blessing. Amen. We declare progress. Amen. Anything that represents cause, in the name of Jesus, we terminate them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, Thank you. for abounding testimonies. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am doing my own work too. I am running my own race. So that when it is my turn, and I will I lie down like this, let me be able to say, that I fought my own fight. That I finished my own course. And that I kept my faith. The faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So my work right here now is done. 
And I want to invite a senior minister of the gospel in this commission. Please join me for the next assignment and receive Reverend Dr. Ugochuku Ogale. Yes, please celebrate him. Odero Izi, Odero Izi. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to I'll be praying for the entire members of um, the Ezagula family. Praise the Lord. So if you are one of them, whether you are far, let's rise. If you are far, please come very close because um, I want to be praying. I'll be praying for this very family. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Reverend Steve Ahanoti, for that sure word. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Father, in that name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I lift up the entire Ezagula clan. I proclaim over you by the Spirit of the living God that the legacy that our departed father left behind must be sustained in your lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the pathway that he has led this very family, none of you will depart from that way in the name of Jesus. I proclaim like Abraham that God testify that I know him. He will command his entire family after me. I proclaim every one of you will know the Lord. Every one of you will know the Lord in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare even as he has finished his own course, I proclaim every desire he has for each and every one of you. I proclaim it will surely see the light of the day in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare upon this very family, in righteousness you are established. You are far from oppression, even from terror because it will not come near you. Behold, they may surely gather. And every gathering that is not of God against you for your sake, they shall fall in the name of Jesus. I plant you in the secret place of the Most High. Now decree and declare you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You will say of the Lord is your refuge and your fortress. In God, you will put your trust. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you will put your trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by your side, ten thousand at your right side. It shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because every one of you have followed that very path of righteousness. Therefore, the Lord will guide you continually. The Lord will guide you continually. I decree prophetically that every member of this very family, your life shall be like a well-watered garden. And I proclaim that they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places in the name of Jesus. The peace that his life reflected, I proclaim, shall not depart from this family in the name of Jesus. And I proclaim more than this very family, I decree and declare his desire, his expectation, his dream concerning this very community. I proclaim the Lord will translate that into your hearts one by one. And now proclaim that everywhere you turn to, you will reflect and you will fulfill that dream in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
And I proclaim, none of you will die before your time. You will surpass his age. You will surpass his age. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that in all that you do, the Lord will guide you. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will put you in a straight path that will lead to prosperity. In this family, in the name of Jesus, your hands will not slack. Your hands will not slack. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever you lay these hands upon, I proclaim it is bound to prosper. It is bound to prosper. In the name of Jesus, I bless this family in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Believing and trusting God, today we have come to mourn in a different way. Not actually mourning, but to celebrate a life that is well spent. I proclaim in no distant time, we will also come back to this very community to rejoice with this same family. Because great things in righteousness will happen to your families one by one. That will draw souls from far and near to come and rejoice in the name of Jesus. The fruits of this very crusade are proclaimed shall be sustained from generation to generation. If Jesus tarries, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll take some recognitions now. Barrister David Onyemata. Barrister David Onyemata. President General of the Ofeme Progressive Union. Bo Onyenke Ofeme Union on Oburia. The President General. Please, if you're here, just wait to us wherever you are. Hallelujah. Barista, you're welcome, sir. Let's appreciate him. Let's applaud him. Hallelujah. Amen. We, are, we saved this for the very last. Because of the personality involved. He's representing the College of Bishops. In Trem. Na Trem. And uh, also representing the presiding bishop of Trem. His lordship, Bishop Walter Mbamara, is also a friend of Elder. Let's, let's, let's put our hands Biko, together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, our elder was a man of many parts. And uh, before we even give the church, the Methodist church, somebody from Methodist church wants to speak. And that rightly too. That you see... Uh, Elder touched many lives. I don't know how he knows every time I am posted from one place to the other. But his text message will always come. Every time something major was to happen in my life, Elder text message will come. And when that message comes, it's either Elder is speaking about something yet to happen to me, or he's addressing something that is already happening. And so me and my wife, we don't take it lightly. He doesn't send too many text messages. And every time he sends those messages, he backs it up with the scripture. May he so rest in peace. Elder has touched many lives. And so I'd like to make welcome.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, we want to especially uh, recognize uh, one of our reverends and a special ad, uh, advisor to the Akwai Bom State Governor. I na na bata nuzo puriche oti ni mende chine ke jaro lo onye nkenbo onye na akwanye Reverend Dominic Ukong. Let's put our hands together. Kanye Corona Reverend Dominic Obomaka Biko. Is a special advisor to the governor on health. Obu onye nkene nye governor na akwanye bom ndomodo puriche na yeba sara huike. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, shall we welcome from the Methodist Church? Biko kanye na bata ste na burunde Methodist Church. Isingu. Nke no na galaba isimgu. Elder. Elder. Ibe Bunjo. Ibe Bunjo. Can please Elder Ibe Bunjo please come forward. Elder Ibe Bunjo biko obro ni nonso kai ho gena eba. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him as he comes. Kai ko pro ni aka ko na bia. Nuku made ko obu. Biko ko wara ni aka. Obu nwo ko bara obro bo. Please, I don't even know who you did much because we are not can care. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Um, I'm here under the uh, representing Methodist Church. I know me bad now. I know Chinese and the Methodist Church. In recognition of what uh, um, Elder Zagula. Did in this church. Iji me kunu mana ihe na ihe zagula mene na church ani. Um, he went through this Methodist church and Methodist church went through him. O si no puru Methodist church apota. Methodist church is kweni me apota. If you can, if you look around, you see the the our uh, church. He he roofed it. He re roofed our Sunday school. That was why when the son came to me to ask of uh, this compound. I said the whole compound is at your disposal. Gilan, Gilan, ya okora nyolo aboba. Me kwa nyo tuti hi. Obi ya mene oge mwe ya bera. Sina hachoro ime ime ki use of eba. Mse ha gani ru? Um, please, I welcome all of you who are here. Ano manaba tu nini le neba? Because you have come to acknowledge what our son, the life of our son, lived. Makana ihi una bela. He make a on how is the manner of the kind of man one you will copy. Because all he lived, because Bible said, uh, train a child uh, when he is uh, give show him the way when he is small, when he grows, he will not go out of it. Ni na o toro no poro ndomo don ka po son kese kuzere wata mazuri te kuya no son konaga apuni mi mo blogi to. You have a seen. Una huge ya the church the train where he is now he was. Before his death, you didn't uh, uh, you didn't inculcate uh, this behavior in him. It was Methodists that uh, inculcated yes, this. Oh, yes, so oh. yes. we agree with you. Una huna trem church ebo nata ano magunu abunu lerem ura kunyani mea abu Methodist church kunyani ya. Um. All right. I welcome all of you. Ano malabato noni le. As you came safely. God will lead you home safely in Jesus' name. I pray that the elder, God will receive him in his bosom. In Jesus' name. is a God's village. You are welcome. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's appreciate our elder. Because I call an elder Yaka. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So the seed is growing. Muraha Akro Otoela. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. We will be going to the grave site. I am a big Ebe Akoko Ilino Ubua. But please, the grave site is very small. And it won't be able to accommodate all of us, surely. I'm sure we can see that. So we will just want the family and the officiating ministers. So to go to the graveside. But we have a great advantage here. Rather, that rather for you to go into the sun, 
It will be shown on the slides. We have a better screen here. Everything happening there will be aired here. So you, it will be shown on the screen. So I'm expecting that all of us will be obedient. Also, the reception will be here. Item six, so there's really no need to go there. Item seven is there. Item seven. Uh -huh. Praise, Praise God. Sir. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Amen. All right, so we will take a processional hymn. So please, I crave all of our indulgence. Please, let's have a little, as much as possible go there ka onyo bola pa ero ugo ka imi kege ba han koma choir shall we rise the choir because kai kro no kwai praise the lord so we have the cops the family will go behind the cops and then we have the officiating minister. The cops, the family, the, the officiating minister. Please, can we have all the carriers of the cops to come forward? I want to get. He went in there, pumps are here, but we're the pumps, the pumps. Can we have? Can we have the pumps?
Jesus. Yeah, first of all, I want to welcome our in-laws from Bayesa. Please put your hand together for our in-laws from Bayesa. Everybody put your hand together for our in-laws from Bayesa. Put your hand together for our in-laws from your state. Put your hand together for them. Yeah, our people from Edo State, put your hand together from our people from Edo State. Or half here, 
Put your hand together, people from Ohafia. Put up your hand together for in law from Kogi State. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, I will be speaking on with English and I'll be missing it together with Igbos. Yeah, thank you very much. Please, our chiefs and king, please, be here with us. We are making arrangement, arrangement for where you people are going to sit down. Please, be here with us. Because development. development union. side. side Lakani, yes. Eziama, can you pinu no kwa that side? Eba kani eba, eba anko no geno. If you are from Afara, please, ndo wola si Afara. Azo eba anko no kwa eba anko no kwa eba anko. Afara ndi Afara, eba anko kakano pinu no. Lakani meba. All the our in-laws, all our in-laws, they are going to sit down here, this place. If you are from uh, Kogi or Hafia, Edo or Yor, Bayasa, you are going to sit down here. This particular canopy here, this we are going to sit down. All the home train general, train my, praise the Lord. This canopy over there, the other canopy, the ancient canopy, that's where the train is going to sit down for recognition. After the arrangement, if you finish the arrangement, you go there and sit down. Thank you very much. Oka Yoga. Oka Yoga. Okija. Okija. Kanopino Nebahoba. MC, God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, one of the members of this family said we should give her a nice gospel song. So, we want to live high life and give her the gospel song now. So, mommy, wherever you are, I'd like you to come and show appreciation too. <laughs> The 
is no place for argument. your time in singing worship. Let's just go ahead and sing praises unto Jesus. Chine in Kelibo Yes in Nami Gadini Nino Omo Gin Shingin Gabani Ogaranya Kimu Jemo Chine in Kelibo Please, go 
malu poni Oya marame chukwa Oya mane me manova Ivu onyo bono nya na dege amawe Ivi kamye ji chukwa Yemsi so kwa ne delegi e
so paini hunaso Akaya kakaya akaya akana loro mogu Akani mozi ne buruma Akani mozi ge akaya o Akani mozi ne buruma Akani mozi we Akani mozi ne buruma Akani mozi ge akaya o Akani mozi ne buruma Akani mozi we Akani mozi ne buruma Akani mozi we See the way you love me See the way you came for me Carry my matter for your head oh. In the may you be the song After so long eh? ดูเดียดีเอ็มเกเนเมนาจีเนเกโอโดกุนาอิซิเบอปอนิกาโกมุเมสอมาจีเนเกอาบูอมากามจีเบียอิรุกิจีเนเกโมอาบูจุโตก
Yes, if we have got that side. I don't know if I'm going to be a Yes, we welcome you. We know you, we know you. Your face is show. We got a lot. You better get him now. I'm not completely, man. Shower, shower, Chima, <laughs>
Chibogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Chibogu, maybe Wogu. So, Osa Gri Wogri Wogu, Osa Mbele Mbele, Osa Gri Wogri Wogu, Osa Mbele Mbele, Ujuma, Osa Mbele, Ujuma, Osa Gri Wogri Wogu. Awa Gwabe Gia, Andi Mbochi, Egwa, Egwa Mbakone, Amo Be Demsef, Wanam Le Gia. Wogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Wogu, maybe Wogu.
said it in Igbo that says, when you are eating money, money will be coming. Oh, hey, somebody say, I hear you, sir. Hey. Oh, God bless you, I really appreciate it. Oh, Lo and behold, 